I've got more beautiful Barbies of color coming up after this. So today I'm going to be looking at the 2018 and the 2019 career Barbies. I don't think we know what the 2020 is. There is a film director, one that was announced and she comes with a chair and everything. We've had a film director not too long ago, in somewhere in the 2000s. Uh, the one, the prototype pictures that I've seen doesn't have this logo, this career stamp on it that the other ones usually have, so I'm not sure if that is going to be the new career one or not. They seem to come in different skin tones when you get them. This is a great time to be opening up these. Apparently, I just liked the darker complected ones. It's Black History Month, so this is a great time to open up these beautiful Barbies of color. We've got the lighter skinned tone and I think she's supposed to be Hispanic maybe I don't know I don't I necessarily see them from they could be from any country robotic engineer ones were 2018 and the judge was 2019 and she's pretty awesome because there is a dress under there and I think it's this really cool vintage pattern or it doesn't really matter just the fact that you get an extra dress and my boxes are beat up on these two, I guess, because they're so old. I got a good discount price on her. It was like probably 50, 60% off that price. For some reason, these ones came in four colors, I think. Four colors. Four different girls. You could get a redhead and you could get quintessential blonde Barbie. And I think with these, I think we just got three. And I think there was just a blonde Barbie besides these two. Could be mistaken, though. Maybe there's five of these. I'm pretty sure there's just four. It shows you them on the back. It actually shows you the girl that's inside. Maybe because I'm Canadian packaging, I don't get as much information on here. Or well, they don't show as many pictures and they give us more words. I feel I've had a girl that looks like her before. Or, I don't know. I, um, this hairdo, I've been getting a lot of dolls with this hairdo lately, and I really like it because it's all tidy and out of the way, and it's just like an up fro. Yeah, it's one of my favorite hairdos because your hair is up. It's also free. I like the unique Barbies. I have enough blonde Barbies. I think we all do really like the pictures that they put on the back of this. I couldn't open up my computer programmer from a few years ago because she's got a Monster High and Masters of the Universe toys up on her shelf. And if I ripped her off the bubble, you would tear down some of the art. So she's always being displayed. She's actually a redhead. I think that was before they made them in different colors. I think she only came in that one color. But now they're making the career of the year relatable to all girls. And here is the back of the courtroom. That looks great. I wonder if it says on the back what the name of the thing that you hit with the gavel is. She imagines everything she can become. No, it doesn't even say. It just says that she's a judge. The gavel's really taped in here. Yeah, I know this is called a gavel, right? But what do you call the thing that you hit? Look at the wood grain in that. That's really cute. Order in the court. Order in the court. Order in the court. That's what she's going to do. I remember watching TV as a kid and seeing black female judges. I remember thinking that is such an honored position that I think we've come a long way. Or I was happy that we had come that far. We've still got very, very far to go. Wow, she's, she's a real beauty. She's got a really great face. She's a darker complected skin. I don't know if I'll be able to put her on one of the WWE bodies that I like to because her skin is so dark, but that's a fantastic face. Yeah, she's a beauty and her long black hair. I was just saying that I didn't have a darker complected Barbie with longer black hair. Well, I don't know if I have a fashionista that has straight black hair. Something I didn't realize is that the collar is a complete different piece of material. 
so it's a separate color. They do have it tacked down. I don't know if I want to remove that single tack or not. I think I'm going to. But here we have this lace bib now that we can use. And here's what I'm really excited about is that underneath her robe, they didn't have to do this and I wouldn't expect them to do this, but they did. They threw in this dress and it's kind of a sexy dress for a judge but it is really nice and yes it is more of a vintagey material which i really do love and it's also no velcro stretchy perfect cut really like versatile and those are the proper shoes a little sexy for a judge but hey you can be a judge and be sexy too yeah she's a good one Okay, and then next, I guess since you saw all of that, we can focus on her face and her hair. And I'm probably going to brush out the glue. And it is coming out because that just makes it look sticky and crusty. And yeah, I think, she, I think she looks better now that I fluff that out. And I like her. I think she looks more like a judge. And I think my eyes are a bit wonky on her. I actually have another one of her because I wrote to Amazon and said I want to return because my eyes are weird. I want to exchange it and they just sent me another one instead. That happens sometimes. And I'm going to take off her robe too. Maybe I'll keep that collar tacked. I wish that for the different girls they would have given them different dresses. Unfortunately, they didn't give them different colors. That's all that I would ask. They have a different model number on the back. Yeah, 44 and 43. Now they're Bobsy twins. Different but the same. Yeah, I, I really like her. The hair is really cute and nice. Those are really awesome, unique Barbies. Yeah, I think she's going to be too dark complected for me to unfortunately rebody her though. And now with the 2018 computer programmer, she's also got some layers going on, which is awesome. The gavel apparently comes apart. Got some mallets and some things to hit that say Barbie. Those are really cool. With the robotic engineers, we have robots and they have articulated arms and they twist at the waist and that is the extent of their articulation but they're really cute i'm gonna have to get at least a third of these i need three robots for my shelf that is going to be a fun accessory to give to my kids maybe my creatable world to play with they have these robots now or i guess these big girls can play with them too and they also come with a laptop so we're getting some major accessory action here. I wonder what else I could use this robe for. I don't know if I really showed you much of this robe. I keep, I'm going back to this again. Could be like a wizard outfit. Okay, so the robotic engineer, the first girl looks like this. Oh, she's really pretty too. These are all really unique girls. I like her squinty eyes and her mouth is open a little bit. I do not remember seeing a face look quite like this. And what's great about this, despite not really enjoying her outfit choices, she's wearing like double denim, but it doesn't match. There are three pieces to this outfit, so you can mix and match. And the printed on jacket, which sometimes, you know, isn't so cool, but when it's done right, it looks okay. And I think this is an example of that. Sometimes you can't even tell that it's a print-on. And it's a left open jean jacket. The collar's unfinished, but it's a nice jean jacket. Light denim, dark black denim jeans. That's kind of what I like to wear. I guess they're supposed to be jeans because there's some distress marks in them, some lighter areas. And they're capris. And then she's got this really crazy, funny t-shirt on. This girl is so beautiful. I think I have to sophisticate her up. And she's got her hair over to one side. Yeah, she's going to be rebodied for sure. And then the only difference with this girl would be her face. Oh, this t-shirt isn't Velcroed, which is cool. And the shorts are Velcroed in the back. And they have the opposite bent arm as the career before. And they have that bent arm so they can carry their laptop underneath. And then their goggles look like this. I gotta try on the goggles. 
Yeah, they're cool. Oh, look at my eyes. Yeah, super cool. Super cool goggles. Robotic engineer. Cool guy. Yeah. Okay, and let's take a look at her face. And yes, yeah, she's a very, very pretty too. Her ponytail is over to one side. She has the same color elastic band. It's like this brown color that this girl had. But hers is hidden under the poof. And I love the poof. I wonder if she's exactly the same as the tennis player. And I've recently got another girl that looks like this. I wonder if they have even the same face and the same poof. Her poof is over to one side. I'm trying to shift it so it's up the middle. That is a great hairdo. I think she probably is exactly the same as the tennis player. Did I show you inside the laptop? The laptop doesn't have a mechanical hinge which I prefer. And what I mean by that is that it's two pieces and it's put together, but this is one molded piece that you just bend. So you see the stress there. Over time, that's going to just break off if you opened and closed it. So I like when there's a mechanical hinge. But that's really cool because they've got the app up on the robot that they control from their computer. Cute. Cool. Purple laptop. I've never seen one before in real life. This is a 2014 face sculpt. This is a 2016 head sculpt. This one is a 2011 head sculpt. And this one is a 2014 head sculpt. I wonder if they were made as fashionista faces. I'm going to put this robe back on this one. And I hope you're having a wonderful Valentine's Day month. I hope you're having a wonderful Black History Month. And please let me know which one of these dolls are your favorite. Can't believe I didn't have the doll stands working today. Yeah, let me know which one is your favorite. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Yeah. We'll see you next time. Yeah, it's a hard choice. She's, like, beautiful. Like, she's smizing. And then it's just because I've seen her before that she's my least favorite, but she's beautiful. So she might even be the most beautiful out of all of them. But I'm so happy to get these very unique-looking ones. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take her hair down. I don't think a side pony suits her. Oh, yeah. She kind of looks like Wonder Woman. And then I'm going to put on one of those dresses for her. Did I show you her? Their shoes? They're wearing sneakers because they're nerds. And being a nerd is cool. And they have flat feet. These jeans are nylon-y. There we go. Makeover time. Just gave her an instant makeover. Hair down. Nerd by day. Glamorous beauty by night. You can do it all. Barbie girls can be anything and do everything. We girls can do anything. Right, Barbie? Hi, I'm beautiful and smart.